I feel like celebrities these days are really different to the way that they used to be. Lil Nas X just constantly posts memes about himself. Look, even I'm a celebrity and no, there is nothing you can do about it. Yes, dad, this does mean that I will not be getting a real job. And no, you can't take a picture, okay? Unless you pay me. Doja Cat, in my opinion, is the perfect example of a celebrity in 2020. What I mean by that without beating around the bush is that essentially she's she, she's a crackhead. I don't know, I just feel like there's a special relatability in supporting someone whose life seems to be falling apart just as much as yours is. So no, today we won't be talking about Doja Cat's music because I don't want to be skinned alive. And when I say that, I don't mean by people watching at home, I mean by my girlfriend. She said that she wouldn't lay another finger on me if I said anything bad about Doja Cat's music. And I'm not about to let that happen, if I'm being honest. So I was like, if you say so, <laughs> I'm not gonna have a girlfriend for very long, am I? You may have seen some of Doja Cat's Instagram live streams, both on Instagram and on Twitter. You can follow me on both platforms, by the way, at James Marriott YT. You can also send me money if you want. I like money. Obviously it's your call, but just do it. You know, don't be a pussy. I found these live streams on YouTube and someone's captioned it Wildin on Instagram live. I would have changed that title to just Crackhead. And you're about to see why. Russ, nobody fucking and I, and I, and don't get me wrong. Oh, oh, well done. Standing ovation for Doja Cat, everyone. St standing ovation. Martin Luther King Jr. walked so Doja Cat Wilden on Instagram Live could run. You had a dream, did you, Martin Luther? Well, Doja Cat had a lot of crack. She essentially tells this other artist, Russ, that she's gonna fuck him. I would braid your hair for days. <laughs> Can you see now why I'm terrified of this woman? Who invited the Wicked Witch of the West? I'm not sure if she's dressed as a cheetah or she's just slowly morphing into a wild fucking animal. Russ. Russell. No one gives a fuck. I guess what confuses me is I can't understand why you'd be like this in front of thousands of people. But some of you out there may be wondering how is she getting numbers like this? You may not know who Doja Cat is. This has been a great introduction so far, hasn't it? Who is Doja Cat? A famous singer that went viral for dressing up as a cow and mooing in front of a green screen. No, I'm, I'm not joking. <laughs> Yeah. This is the standard we set for pop superstars these days. She's had a lot of viral success on TikTok over the last year, and she recently performed her song Say So on the Jimmy Fallon YouTube channel. That's not a late night show, by the way. It's one of the most successful YouTube channels out there. It's got over 20 million subscribers, okay? Get your facts right. This is the level that you need to aim for if you want one of your songs to be a hit these days. Can the population listen to a seven second clip of it over and over again until chunks of blood come out of their earlobes? If they can't do that, then there's literally no point. Don't release the song, don't release the album. Learn from Justin Bieber, okay? It doesn't work. For the record, TikTok really pride themselves on the music that's used in their little clips. I went to a TikTok party recently. Tana Mojo was there with two bodyguards. Don't worry, Tana, I wouldn't even choose to be in the same country as you, let alone the same room. They had these signs around the party referring to the songs used in TikToks. For example, when you walk in, there's a huge sign that says Renegade. The amount of TikTokers that I just heard screaming Renegade whenever they saw this sign. I thought a Jeep had crashed through the fucking wall. The sign that directed you to the bar. Yes, I went to the bar, of course. I'm not a fucking alcoholic. That sign was accompanied by another sign that said horses in the back. I'd only noticed this sign after I'd eaten food provided by the event. So if there's any Bojack fans out there, I'm really sorry. The TikTokers that were there just seemed so different from any creators that I know. There was this one that had the most extravagant hair. Let me just find a picture of him. Hold on. No, I don't usually make physical comments about people because it's just mean. I feel like I'm allowed to about hair though, because well, I'm on the ropes, boys. But imagine dyeing your hair two different colours in two different places. It's like you dyed your hair once, realised that you were still boring as fuck and that nothing had changed just because the colour of your hair had. So for some reason you decided to do it again? Hold on, let me get another picture up of him. He looks great here. It just blows my mind that these are the people that made Doja Cat popular. Listen, stop. I'm gonna fuck you. Doja, I am a taken man. Oh, hold on, I realized what she's trying Her name has cat in it. Sorry, lads, I'm really slow. I've been so ill for the last week. My ear is blocked. My wisdom tooth's coming through. I'm gonna, I, I'm just gonna cry. Russell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you. But, but hold on, truth is, Shut the fuck up. I cannot begin to explain Doja Cat's brain and where all of this came from. I don't think anyone on Instagram needs to know who you're gonna fuck next. I, I mean, hold on, let me let me go on uh, Instagram Live right now. We're telling your followers that you've started a live video. Good, good, I hope you do. Oh, you can wave at people. <laughs> Wave. Hello. Oh, pause due to poor connection. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think anyone on Instagram needs to know who you're gonna fuck next. My career. The point is, Instagram Lives are the worst form of content, okay? Nothing good has ever come out of an Instagram Live. Other than that one time when Daniel Cohn told that Hispanic kid to go back to his own country. Okay, Diego, shut the fuck up, okay? 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm gonna take... Nobody uh, yeah, I'm gonna listen to a 13-year-old. Nah, shut up. What? A true highlight of last year. Daniel Code really fell off, by the way. I'm not sure if anyone noticed that. Might just chuck a little clip in right now. Glad to see she's doing well. Doja Cat does a lot of live streams, okay? And by that, I mean way too many live streams. It's okay to talk about your personal issues online, in my opinion. I don't do it that much because I'm a shell of the human that I once was, and I don't think that many people who watch my videos actually care that much about my feelings. Tengo el miembro del caballo. Doja Cat went as far to address a breakup that she had recently over Instagram Live, but it's not like a statement that she's dedicated her live stream to, it's just this little rant towards the end of it. Uh, if y'all want dating advice, I will say, the world is fucked up and life is fucked up up and nature is fucked up and the whole motherfucking goddamn uh, periodic tables bitch are fucked up right where's the fucking note i need to note this down the periodic table is fucked up finally i'm gonna get laid i unfollowed my ex-boyfriend on twitter it's a sad thing when people break up what annoys me about when celebrities break up though is this there's one comment here right he doesn't deserve you oh and you do right you you deserve doja cat no one adheres to these high standards that you put up for the celebrities that you like because no one is that good her ex is a guy called johnny utah he's another musician from the united states the amount of hate he gets online just for being doja cat's boyfriend well ex-boyfriend now how do such gorgeous and stunning and breathtaking women fall for such mediocre skater boys it's such a superficial way to judge someone on their looks? Give Doja Cat some respect. Maybe she likes people for their personality. What a fucking shock that would be. I've seen this tweet that tried to cancel Doja Cat. Now, the second one in the list, I guess, if it did happen, is quite a bad thing. Disrespecting a dark-skinned black woman, not good. But you know, that's enough for the tweet, okay? Just make the tweet about that. Don't add, so far, Doja Cat has won fucked white men, the biggest fucking crime of them all. Oh man, what are you in jail for? I don't want to talk about it, man. I've been here for 10 years. 10 years? What did you do? You got dicked down by James Marriott. <laughs> Oh my god. I love this live stream though, because throughout this talk about her relationship, there's just some mass shooting going on in the background. Just be. So it, 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 that's that's what's going on. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm really, oh god, I'm really happy. Speaking about shooting, there was a live stream from just under a couple of months ago when they're both together in a live stream. I say that, Johnny Utah is just playing Fortnite in the background. I forgot you're alive, to be honest, Serena. No, I'm, I'm live, like... Since like 30 seconds ago. Right. The only thing that comes accompanied by the sound of gunshots and warfare. James fucking Charles. That girl with the big hair. I love you too, James. Oh, thank oh, she means James Charles. For the record, if any of you blow up in the future, that is the single worst thing you can do when James Charles comes into your Instagram live streams. Kind of like one of those monsters. You just you just don't look it in the eyes. Try to pretend it isn't there and then maybe it'll pass, you know, it'll just, it'll just kind of leave. I found a clip where Millie Bobby Brown did it. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna stop there because I'm going to do an <laughs> That one was a little too obvious, all right? But as soon as you feed James Charles just a bit of attention, he latches on. Like, didn't Did need I? you to, fucking. There it is. Let's do a makeup video together, babe. Don't do it, don't you? Do my makeup. Oh my God, I will fucking lose it. I would look bomb, bitch, too. That's it. The contract is officially signed. The only thing that is making you think that filming a video with James Charles is a good thing is whatever combination of drugs you're holding in your hand right now. Doja, he might sing in front of you, man. We really lost Doja Cat this year. <laughs> oh, God. James Charles is in my fucking live. No word. He's like, let's do a makeup video together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I swear that's the stoner reaction to everything. One of the biggest celebrities just came into my Instagram live. Wow. <laughs> Stoners out there, that's not a personality trait, okay? Laughing like Seth fucking Rogan. Even people in the chat know this is about James Charles. Leave her alone, James. James, James, James. Oh, fucking God. Oh, and there it is. The dreaded DM. Don't respond to it, Doja. My Zodiac, I'm not a Gemini. I think we got away with it, lads. I guess this should be the moral of the video. The reason you shouldn't go on rants on Instagram Live and you shouldn't be a crackhead on social media in general is because James Charles will snatch you up. Don't allow him the opportunity, okay? He doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> Why did I bring back making puns? I hate making puns, man. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch recently. You should follow my Twitch. And I'm not talking like a physical kind of, oh, uh, you know. Twitch.tv forward slash James Marriott live. It's like my YouTube channel, but I'm live. That's why it's called James Marriott Live. I can't wait to see thousands of comments about how ill I sound fucking hit me with them and other than that leave a like on this video if you want me to talk more about mainstream celebrities then 50,000 likes and i'll do it more and if you don't well open your mind up a little bit go for a walk look in the mirror i don't want to talk about daniel Cohn for the rest of my life okay but subscribe if you're new or have not done so already and i will catch you next time